Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Saturday. Do you love my hat? I love this redneck hat. Can you see what it says? <laughs> we got this when we were driving down to uh, Austin. Uh, maybe it's on the way back. But we went into this like store with all, I'm trying to think where this was. It's probably at one of the most like trashy redneck spots I've ever been in. They had, we took pictures, it was hysterical. But I saw this hat and I'm like, yeah, that has my name written all over it. It's my sense of humor. Who was just writing me? Rotary? Or Mr. Flo? Or somebody saying I haven't been flexing? That's absolutely not true. So there's number one, and there's number two. Still trying to get that left up to the right. As you know, I've had to baby this little thing all last year. Um, I'm also, I wanted to make a note before I finish this, I just finished my workout. Today is cardio, so I'm doing, uh, I did P90X plyo, which I haven't done for a while, and obviously, you can see that got me a little sweaty. You know when your hair is like wet from picking up the sweat? It's kind of like, really gives new meaning to a ponytail. That's what horses do, they knock the flies off themselves. I'm knocking the sweat off myself. But anyway, I made my uh, second meal <laughs> with the egg protein, and I told you guys before, so I'm trying, uh, well I'm using, you know, not trying it anymore, I tried all of them, um, and I like all of them, but I'm using, you know, non-dairy non protein powder. Now this is the egg protein powder that I told you about. I'm doing Vega, Vega Sport, protein powder uh, from GNC that they sent me, GNC egg protein powder, and then GNC soy 95, which again, I'm always gonna say this, because some people immediately go, what's up with soy? Um, two things, the soy from G GNC, and it, it very explicitly says it on the back, non-GMO. I would not be using it if it was not non-GMO. Secondly, join us if you can next Wednesday. Um, we're doing a Twitter chat. I have sweat dripping down my arms right now. It's hard for you to see. I don't know if you can, anyway, it's just dripping down my arms, which is a good thing. Um, next Wednesday, which is the 23rd, I believe, um, at 8 p.m. Central on Twitter, join us. Fitfluential will be hosting it, so look for the Twitter handle, Fitfluential. I believe the hashtag is gonna be Soleil, S-O-L-A-E. I could be wrong, but we're just gonna have a Twitter chat to educate on soy. Um, you know, strictly informational. This is not selling a product or anything like that, so tune in, but I will tell you, there's some pretty damn amazing prizes for that chat. I was like, dang! Anyway, back to this. I, I did test this out for you guys before, and I told you I really enjoyed the taste, and I never would have guessed that it was egg. Here's one thing I noticed, and this is not a bad thing. Can you see how it really makes a very thick shake? Like when I'm drinking this, and I make all my shakes with um, the Blue Diamond almond milk, it's just, um, I don't know how to describe it. When I make the shakes with Vega, I'm just sharing an observation. I'm not saying it's good or bad. This is just very, it almost tastes like it has, if you've made a, a shake with chia in it, chia seeds, and it makes it real thick. Um, that's what I get with this egg protein. So just an observation, not that it's good or bad. Anyway, all that said, there you go. So here I am wrapping up my first week. Dude. Um, also, a lot of you people have been writing me about the music that I have, and I want your suggestions for music, but this is the um, soundtrack for Real Steel, which is that movie, God bless you, Huge Jackman, I love you. But I couldn't even watch that movie. But the soundtrack was great. I did get the movie from Netflix, and I was like, <laughs> you know that a movie's not that enticing, even when it has Huge Jackman in it. And yes, I call him Huge on purpose. Um, and you're, you find yourself on your iPad more than you're watching the movie. Yeah. Good concept. Um, but anyway, the soundtrack is amazing for working out. So also, if you have any tips or new, I, I do need some new music, so give me your tips in the comments on what uh, music you'd like. I am babysitting tonight, and one of the things we are finally gonna do is to test, these are the three uh, DVDs that came with the Jump Sport Trampoline, which is in my bedroom, which many of you have emailed me saying, Kelly, please do a video of you on your trampoline in your bedroom. Of course, you added some other things in there that I don't do. Um, there's three DVDs, so I'm guessing that even though I told you just jumping on that, it surprised me how much I was like, 
not going, oh, this is for kids. I was going, holy crap, I'm getting my heart rate up and this is killer on my legs and so on. Um, thank you, Carla. But we will test this out and then I will share more of a review with you on that. It's so fun. Anyway, wrapping up my first week of Bikini Body Express, the program that Val has me starting on. And here are my observations. Number one, I've done great with my food. Um, it feels, um, I, it, you know, I'm getting back into eating around the clock um, with, and I would say, some of you guys have been asking, she did not tell me um, that I'm supposed to be at X calories or X um, percentage of fat or anything. She's more concerned with protein, um, or excuse me, portion sizes. Um, and yes, protein at every meal. Um, I have observed, because I'm recording what I'm eating in Fit Day, I'm observing that I'm right around 1,500 calories, 1,600 calories. Um, all, it, it, at first I was kind of freaking out because my percentage of fat was higher than I was eating and still, there's part of me going, <gasps> you know, but it's all from almonds, um, coconut oil, salmon, um, hummus, organic eggs. So there's nothing but amazing stuff going in this pod. And I will tell you, um, I, I, you know, I'm not going to weigh myself again until Monday. I don't know. I have to see if she wants me to weigh myself every week or take measurements every week or if I just do it after three weeks. Um, but I do feel like I see um, some good changes. I wasn't expecting. I'm not expecting to see like, oh, wow, you know, I'm, I'm down a size in a week. It's been, I just started on Monday, but I feel very good. Here's what I'm going to tell you. Val's workouts are freaking tough. And, and I'm, I'm telling you this. It's not that I had any doubts going into this. Here's what I thought. You guys know me. If you've been watching my blog for a while, watching my videos, I really enjoy a lot of workout styles. I love my hot yoga on that extreme. And then I love, um, certainly I've been talking about doing CrossFit for a year and I'm definitely going to hit some CrossFit gyms later this year. Um, I love lifting heavy. I love kettlebells. I love isolation training. So there was part of me that when I was looking at the workouts, just the beginning of this week, I was like, there's just, I'm just telling you, this is, I'm not happy to say this, but I'm glad, I'm only sharing it with you because I no longer think that. I was looking at this going, is this really gonna, you know, cause I, I have, I'm not one of those, you know, I'm not one of those women that's like, I don't wanna get too big. I don't wanna get too muscly. <laughs> Hello, I kind of like that. I mean, I'm looking for, you know, see that line there? I mean, I want these delts like popping. I've got to counteract this. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, anyway, so there was part of me going, you know, is this just gonna be like a lighthearted workout that's gonna help me lose fat, but you know, I'm gonna have to then really focus on muscle. Let me tell you something. Okay, my glutes have been worked this week like never before. My core has been worked this week, and she was right. I think I told you guys when Val was kind of analyzing me out in um, LA, when we spent time together, she said, for as long as you have worked out, your core is very weak, and that just struck me. I was like, damn! But you, you've gotta be willing to look at yourself realistically or you're never gonna make some changes. And have I really worked my core hard? No, I haven't. So it's good that I'm on a program that's focusing on all areas of my body. I've worked my chest this week. I've worked my, my shoulders. I've worked my back. I've worked my triceps. I've worked my core. I have done my cardio. I've worked my ass, like no idea. My uh, quads, my hamstrings, my calves. Um, this whole thing has been addressed. So I feel awesome. Each workout is amazing. There's flexibility in cardio. As you can see, I did P90X Plyo today. I've done Kathy HIT workouts. Um, Val lets you choose what you're gonna do and you can go outside, you can do running. You're, it's, you know, she's more encouraging you to stick with like the interval um, and not any long-term like light cardio. Um, but that's it. So I am very excited. Um, I'm excited to see where I am in three weeks. Um, I feel great. Um, also, I told you guys this week, I started taking melatonin at night instead of Excedrin PM. No more Excedrin PM. Sleeping like a baby, aside from the barking dogs in this neighborhood that I love so much. Yeah. But my sale of my home is finalized. I get to move, if I'm correct. Knock on Formica. Um, hopefully in the next 30 days. And I went looking for uh, condos earlier this week and I found two places actually. Um, so I hope you guys 
I'll show up on my doorstep and move my house for me. It'd be great. So that said, I gotta go. One of the questions, I don't know if you guys do this. I keep a notebook out whenever I work out because a lot of times I have questions. Um, something will pop up like that they mentioned in a video or that I see in a magazine and I'm like, a question about that. One of the things Tony Horton was saying here when he did walking lunges and these Mary Catherines, he's like, keep your back leg straight. And I'm going to ask Val about that. I'm confused by that. I thought that if you did walking lunges, like if you see the CrossFit lunges, they're all about touching your back knee to the, to the ground. And I'm wondering why he was saying, keep your back leg straight. Is it just a preference? I'm just curious. Food for thought. So you guys have a great day. Make it count. I feel great. No excuses. I'm excited. And you know what else? I'm starting to think about like a fitness bucket list. What do you guys think about that? Let's create our fitness bucket list and then let's attack it because it's kind of like saying you have to go to the dentist, like I've been saying for about a century, and then you never do. You know, you've got to put something where you can actually look at it and, and conquer it. I say we make a bucket list because I don't want to go another year and go, oh yeah, I've been wanting to do CrossFit for a year. Go to a CrossFit gym. Let's do it. Talk to you later.